Hear that sound? Click, 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 click. Yeah, that's never a good sound. Never. So, was looking at getting something for the shop. Really excited about it. Um, I think I mentioned that I want to turn the van body that's at the shop into a sandblasting booth. And uh, in order to do that, I need more air, a bigger air compressor. And uh, so I've been looking for a while and I finally found one on uh, Marketplace that was a portable air compressor. It's got a Ford 302 engine in it. It's a 100 PSI and 90 CFM. Um, so pretty decent unit. Hold on a second. So came to get it, had to dig it out of where it was and it was buried behind some other equipment, so we had to do that, and it was it was a little hectic. But finally got it out, got it hooked to the truck, made sure the tires had air in them, everything looked good, headed out. Yeah, let me show you. Can you see the problem? You can see right, yeah, right there where the tire hit the wall, went down, went up the wall, and went over right about there, right somewhere in there. And Thankfully, it launched out in that. So now, I'm sitting on the side of the road, waiting for someone to bring a trailer, to put the trailer on, to get it home. Never a dull moment. Ever. Hello there, YouTube. Hope y'all are doing good. Um, it is a day or two after the uh, roadside adventure. Yeah. So let's talk about lessons learned. Yeah. So always go prepared. Always have a jack. That would have been helpful. Um, always have a way to make sure the lug nuts are tight. That would have been helpful. Yeah, we checked the tires. We made sure there was air in the tires. Um, we made sure the light, the safety chains and the latch and everything worked on it. Didn't think to check the lug nuts. Mm -hmm. That was important. So evidently, um, the lug nuts on both tires were loose and that one just happened to come off. Um, I had gone about three tenths of a mile from where I picked it up. And when it passed, or excuse me, when the tire came off, it passed me and I watched it hit the concrete barrier on the bridge and launch itself over into that abyss. Good thing it wasn't a crowded street, so. Thank God for small miracles. Yeah. Yep. So, got it home. Um, it was well after dark uh, by the time we got a tow truck there. Got it loaded on it, and uh, that was a that was an experience uh, because called a bunch of people and. You know, can you help? Can you help? Can you help? And uh, finally, one of my buddies uh, owns a, a wrecker, and he came a rollback, and he came and got it and got it home. 
he's actually the one that found out the lug nuts were loose. So uh, we got it home and you'll see some more videos on this um, as I go through it and clean it up. So some particulars on it. It is a uh, 1993 Smith portable air compressor. Um, it's 100 PSI of constant air pressure. And um, it's got a Ford 302 gas engine in it. It was manufactured the 11th month of 93. So it's, it's an older unit, but um, the oil had no contaminants in it. The water had no uh, sludge or oil in it, and it had antifreeze in it. Uh, no visible signs of cracking anywhere on the block. The engine turned over. Um, the gentleman didn't have a battery uh, in the unit, and he took one out of his truck and um, or out of a truck and it was just barely strong enough to make it turn but it did turn over um, the battery was very weak so uh, we're gonna move move forward with it for the price that I paid for it I if if it doesn't work I can sell it for scrap metal and get my money back so uh, well I could have until the the tow bill but you know hey um, so the plans are to get this running and hopefully use this as a um, large air source for media blasting. So we'll see how it works out. Um, just what I need, a, another project in the shop. But if this will get me to where I want to be, then um, it's going to be worth it. So um, I'll do some more videos as we go on. Um, about digging into this and seeing how this works. Unfortunately, the model number um, is worn away, so I have no clue about a model number and I have no paperwork or um, information other than that. I have looked up, um, the Smith Company is still in business. They're still, uh, it looks like they're still making air compressors, but to be able to find, find out if they've got any information on this. I haven't been able to do that yet. So hopefully in the coming weeks I can do that. If anyone out there has ever used one of these, um, I would love to pick your brain. This is an unusual setup. Um, I'll try to post some pictures of the, the engine compartment, but it's an eight cylinder gas engine it actually fires and runs off of four cylinders and it compresses air with the other four cylinders. Um, never seen anything like it. I'm unfamiliar with it, but uh, if you have any experience with it, I would love to chat with you. Hey guys, it's always an adventure. What can you say? Um, all you can do is laugh and roll with the punches and <laughs> move on to what's next. So that's what we're going to do. But God bless you. Hope you're having a good day. Take care of yourself. Like I said, I'll post some pictures of what I'm dealing with and let you see kind of the setup. But God bless you. Y'all take care.